Hi guys, it's Emma and welcome to Art by Emma. Now. Hi guys, it's Emma and welcome to Art by Emma. So today we're going to be working on a simple little project for the garden to brighten up the garden a little bit. We're going to be making a colourful um, tree hanging, ornament, mobile, whatever you like to call it. I just wanted to make one to brighten up my garden a little bit. Um, we'll be using some sticks and some simple little things, a lovely simple project to be going on with. So um, let's get into it. So these are the sticks that I picked up on my various walks around the mountains where I live. I wanted some nice big chunky ones, not little spindly ones that are going to just not look as imposing as these are. I know I've got a really big thing chunky one there but I think it adds to the aesthetic somewhat. So uh, the first thing I need to do, or I'll do it at the end, but these are the um, screw-in eyelets, I guess they're called. And I'm going to position these so I can um, dangle the dangly sticks off of the main one and also to tie string to to, um, to hang it up from the tree. So the first thing we need to do is gesso it, um, just to give us a good grip for our paint and to give us a nice surface so that our rainbow colours really pop when it's hanging in the tree. Um, I like using gesso, some people are against it, they think it's just paint, but I believe gesso is paint and glue mixed together to give it that nice um, adhesion for your acrylic paints to stick to. So I need to gesso these sticks front and back. Um, I've decided to leave a few raw edges showing just to give it a nice natural feel. I know you don't get rainbow coloured sticks in nature but just to give it a more natural aesthetic so there's some nice gnarly edges on the end of these. So I'm going to gesso them front and back. It's an arduous task but a necessary one. And then we're going to paint them. I've chosen some lovely rainbow colours. I've mixed in some white just to tone them down slightly. Um, obviously I've only got five sticks, so we've gone for red, orange, yellow, green and blue. I'm going to try and hang them in somewhat of an order. And again, leaving the raw edges nice and exposed to give it that nice natural feel. Using a nice big brush so I get good coverage. Trying to get in all the little nooks and crannies and grooves as best I can. When they're white, just yeah, so they look like a load of bones on my desk, but now they, they really do look like an attractive garden on this, I guess. It's a lovely blue. I toned it down with some white, like I said. I don't use expensive acrylic paints, just cheap ones will do. I guess if you're used to using more expensive paints you'll find a difference, but I find I get really good coverage with just um, cheap acrylic paints. I don't pay very much money for them. They do the job. Here we go, nearly getting to the end of the painting. And orange is the last one. Oh no, sorry, green is my last one. Didn't paint them in any order. And there we have them all painted. So I've screwed all the eyelets in apart from one, just to show you again how a screw screws in. Get them in good and tight because obviously these are the um, components that are going to hold everything together. Now I'm going to tie these all together with string. I guess I could have prized the eyelets open and linked them together and that might have given me a, a firmer support. But first of all I'm going to modge podge them. This is to give them a bit of protection to seal in the acrylic paint. Um, I've gone for a matte Mod Podge, Mod Podge, because again, I know you don't get rainbow coloured sticks in nature, 
but I thought that a shiny one would would look too artificial. So I'm giving it a good sealing with the Mod Podge, going through all the colours. I know it looks like it's white and streaky when you're going in, but it, it dries clear and all your colour shows through. You have to be too precious with it. Slap it on. Nearly, nearly finished. Just the green and the blue to go. And then we'll be ready to tie them all together. So to tie them together, I've opted for this jute string rope. It's um, what, what you use in the garden to tie up your plants and what have you. So I thought this would be studio and um, more weather bearing in the garden. And I've gone for this nice burnt orange colour, I guess. So I'm going to line them all up, like I said, trying to get them in somewhat of a, a rainbow border with red at the top, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I'm going to thread it through the eyelets. I know I'm very generous with my string, aren't I? Tie it in a nice double knot. Nothing fancy, just good and tight to hold it all together. As I said, I could have prized the eyelets apart and linked them together, but didn't think of it at the time and I, I don't think I have the pliers for the job. So a nice tight knot. On goes the yellow. Again, tie it on with a nice tight knot. Same with the green. And then onto the blue. So we've got them all tied nicely in place with double knots. Now I need to trim my string up because I haven't got a very good gauge for cutting things, I just reel it on out. Snip, snip, snip. So the last thing we need to do is go through the top two loops. I have something to hang onto my tree with. I already have a nice branch in mind where I want to hang it. So again tie that in a nice double knot or single knot as I've done then. Trim it up and there we have it. A simple, colourful, hanging, mobile for the garden. I guess if you did it with different materials, you could have a wind chime or something where they would make a noise when you clam them together, but this one doesn't make a lot of noise when it clams together, but I think it looks pretty. So we're going to hang it in the tree. There's the branch I've got in mind, and yeah, that didn't go to plan, did it? So I guess we're going for take two now. Here I am. I'm going to hang it on this branch, got to work a little bit harder to get it over the leaves. And there we have it. Hang in the garden, little spot of colour. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Nice simple project, anyone can do it. You need very little supplies. Just um, the only thing I really bought for this was the eyelet hooks and they were very cheap. So if you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.